In this tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to integrate HTTP requests in Next.js. For this tutorial, I will be using the project IDX IDE developed by Google. Let's get started. Take the project IDX IDE from Chrome and click on the Next.js template to create a new Next.js project for you. Name your project and select TypeScript for your project. Select all the options, then click Create. Wait till it loads an environment for you. Wait for some time to let the IDE run your Next.js application. You can open your preview in a new page for better viewing. Perfect. Now we can start integrating our HTTP requests on our application. We will clear the default code given by the Next.js template and will start writing from scratch. Create an asynchronous default function and return a simple text. Hello world. Now let me tell you about all the methods we will be trying out today. We will be performing two types of requests, the GET request and the POST request. Within the GET request, we will call it with the URL params, where we specify a variable to pass data to the server. The next method is the PATH parameter method, where we specify the username as a PATH parameter. Now in the POST request, we will perform the normal request, where we need to pass user data through forms. Now let's start building our API. For handling our API calls, we will be creating a separate endpoint called slash API. We will be using the endpoint slash API slash accounts for managing the request. For that, we need to create a new folder called API and inside it, another folder called accounts. The app router will manage the endpoints, so we don't need to write separate code. We will start building the first type of get request that is the URL params method. For that, create a file named root.ts. Please note that the file name should be root itself. After creating the file, we will start writing our code here. We will create an asynchronous function named get with RQ as the parameter. Since we are using TypeScript, we need to define the type as next request. Inside the function, we will create a try catch block. Now we are initializing the URL search params from the next request. After that, we are reading the specific URL params, that is, the username in our case. You can pass multiple URL params if you wish to. Now we create a simple response in JSON format with the message hello world and store it in the variable data. We will return the data using next response along with the HTTP status. In the catch block, we will simply return with the error message. We can test this by going to the preview and typing the endpoints. Perfect. Now we will start building the next type of get request. For path parameter, we need to create a folder inside the accounts folder called username inside square brackets. Inside the username folder, we will create a root.ts file. Create an asynchronous function named get with recu as a parameter with type next request. We need to specify that the endpoint would be a path parameter. So we define the path parameter variable as username. We then create a try catch block as we did before and store the path parameter in a variable called username. We then create a response JSON and return the data as we did before. For the catch block, we return the error. Now we can test it by going to the preview. Perfect. Now we can start with the POST request. Take the root.ts file inside the accounts folder. Create a new asynchronous function named POST with reco as next request type. Add the try catch block as we did before. Now we need to get the form data submitted to the post request. For that, we store the form data in the variable called body. For simplicity, I am just returning the form data as such as the response. For the catch block, we will do the same as we did before. We can start integrating it in the front end side. We will go to the page.tsx file and edit the code there. We will create an asynchronous function to perform a get request using the fetch function. For the URL, we will create an environment variable which stores the URL of the Next.js application. We then simply pass the URL and simply return the response. We will also create one more function with form data as the parameter to post the data. We will use the fetch function to send the form data as the post request to the URL. For simplicity, whenever the status is 200, I want to redirect it to the home endpoint. Now we call the function to perform a get request and store the result in data and display the message. We can now create a new form in HTML to perform a post request. The action can be set to the post request function we made before 
with some basic input and a submit button. Now we need to make the port public, so for that we go to the project IDX settings, shortcuts, and make the view public. Now we can test out the application. Perfect. We can also send a sample post request with data. Since we get a status 200, it gets redirected to the home endpoint. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe for more content.